President Trump cautioned Friday that if North Korean pioneer Kim Jong-un debilitates the United States or makes a move against Guam, he will genuinely think twice about it, and he will think twice about it quick. Elucidating his initial morning tweet that U.S. powers were bolted and stacked for a potential military go head-to-head -head with the antisocial, atomic outfitted country, Trump told columnists at his Bedminster, New Jersey, golf club that U.S. activity would be extremely effective rapidly. Later on Friday, Trump likewise raised the apparition of military activity in Venezuela, saying, We have numerous choices for Venezuela, and coincidentally, I'm not going to preclude a military alternative. Subsequent to meeting with U.S. diplomat to the United Nations Nikki Haley and Secretary of State Rex Tierson, Trump said the circumstance in Venezuela was a wreck after a week ago's establishment by President Nicolas Maduro of another authoritative body with wide powers to rework the South American country's constitution. Trump and other Latin American pioneers concur that the outcome is tyranny. This is our neighbor, Trump said. We're everywhere throughout the world and we have troops everywhere throughout the world in places that are extremely far away. Venezuela is not extremely far away, and the general population are enduring, and they're kicking the bucket. The president did not answer inquiries regarding whether he needed administration change there or in North Korea. Trump declined to examine any back-channel conciliatory suggestions with North Korea, which the Associated Press detailed have been continuous in the course of recent months. In any case, he said the U.S. was thinking about ascents against Pyongyang that are as solid as they get. He wanted to talk with Chinese President Xi Jinping later Friday evening and said he stayed cheerful the standoff with North Korea will all work out with a quiet arrangement. Be that as it may, as he has done all week, the president seemed more anxious to proclaim U.S. military preparation. Asked what he implied by his before bolted and stacked tweet, Trump stated, I believe it's entirely self-evident. Earlier this week, Trump undermined North Korea with flame and fierceness. I trust they are going to completely comprehend the gravity of what I stated, and what I said is the thing that I mean, Trump said. So ideally, they will understand. Those words are, straightforward. Without saying him by name, Trump advised North Korea's 33-year-old pioneer. This man won't escape with what he is doing, trust me. The president said. What's more, in the event that he articulates one risk, as an unmistakable danger, which, coincidentally, he has been expressing for quite a long time, and his family has been expressing for a considerable length of time, or on the off chance that he does anything as for Guam, or wherever else that is an American domain or an American partner, he will really think twice about it and he will think twice about it quick. Tirson remaining beside Trump later Friday, said he and the president were in agreement. What the president is doing is attempting to help our endeavors by ensuring North Korea comprehends what the stakes are, he said. Trump likewise said German Chancellor Angela Merkel's notice prior Friday that there could be no military answer for the North Korean circumstance wasn't valid. Merkel said an acceleration of talk the wrong answer, at a Berlin public interview. Maybe she is alluding to Germany, Trump reacted. She's positively not alluding to the United States, that I can let you know.